welcome back to my channel. I am Mrs. P. Tarleton. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I've been thinking about how am I going to build relationships with my students. Currently, the plan is to be distance or remote learning and teaching. So I need to figure out a way that I can build this community, build these relationships with my students. I'm very comfortable doing that in person, but on the computer, it's completely different. So I've come up with five ways that I'm going to try. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all five, but I probably will do more than one for sure. So the first thing I want to try is to get them to know each other's names, where in the world is. So if you're on a Zoom call, a Google Meets, and you have your grid view and people see each other on the grid, say a name, where in the world is, and they can look around and see where is that person. And then they can point to the direction where that person is on their screen. That's a good way to at least get them familiar with names and hopefully start putting faces together with those names. And that'll help me as well. I'll keep looking around and calling out names. And that's the first thing. So I'm thinking that would be my first one that I would like to do. Next, I have a welcome slide. And in my welcome slide, it's really basic. It's introducing yourself, telling you, answering a couple questions on a Google slide. Everyone's in the same Google slide and they get to see each other's. I may even have them comment in the speaker note section, place a comment on a couple other peers, and then I'll check that. And of course we have to remind them, make sure it's school appropriate. I'll um, leave a link down below so you can get your own copy of my welcome back slide that I use. Um, for the students to engage and get to know each other. So that's number two. The third thing I'm thinking of is a Flipgrid. Using Flipgrid, they can answer a quick little question of introducing themselves and they would be able to look at each other's little Flipgrid. I like Flipgrid because it does have the filters on it. You can be funny and silly. You can pixelate your face if you really don't want to be on the video. So many options in Flipgrid. And then you really get to know each other um, through watching the videos. So that would be number three is Flipgrid. If you need a tip on how to use Flipgrid, I'll leave that in the description below. I have a video about that or up in the cards. The fourth option that I have for getting to know them and building community is a would you rather. I've created a would you rather in Google Forms. I can project my question on my end and go through them one at a time, but they're going to have the link and they can go through them and they can answer. Once they're done answering their question in our group meeting, I can then go and show them the data and they can get to see the commonalities and what they have in common with their peers and they can see it that way. I have a video about that too. If you need help with how to create a Google form with the would you rather and review the data with your students, I'll link that also. The last suggestion that I have is I've been really big on building these Bitmoji classrooms, Bitmoji scenes. It's so much fun. And I've seen one where you design your own locker. I have not decided if I'm going to do build your own Bitmoji room or uh, decorate your locker. But what I want to incorporate when I do do this is all the elements that they're going to need to use and practice with online distance learning, like adding hyperlinks, putting sound to their slide, things like that, copying and pasting, finding images, images with transparent backgrounds. So I'm going to give them those type of instructions so that when we do our lessons, we get into our actual lessons, they'll have those skills that they need. So those are my tips. Those are my suggestions of what I'm thinking about using for getting to know my students icebreaker and building community with them from the very beginning. Probably want to spend a good two days at least getting to know them, walking them through the technology. Let's remember they know technology, but maybe not the way you know technology, or maybe not the way they need to know technology for school and business. And I'm going to show them that that's what we need to do. We need to take that time. This is all new to them. So what suggestions do you have for me? Do you have any others? always open to suggestions. Remember, step out and be uniquely wonderful you. Have a great day.